Welcome to Kids Town. My name is Becky. I'm the Children's Ministry Director at Covenant Community Church in Vacaville, California. And we are on our second to last week of our series called, What is God Like? And each week we have been learning a new truth about God and what God is like. So the things that we've learned so far, we have learned that God is the Alpha and Omega. We have learned that God is compassionate, God is good, God is truth, God is merciful, God is one, God is the rock, God shepherds his people, and God is our shield. Before we start, I want to ask you, what are some ways that you've changed this year? Have you gotten taller? Have you cut your hair? Do you have new clothes, maybe new shoes, maybe you've learned to tie your shoes, maybe you know more about God, you can read better, do new math. These are all things and ways that you have changed. What about trees? How do trees change? Their leaves turn color, the leaves fall, they hibernate, some trees grow fruit. What about caterpillars? How do caterpillars change? They go into a chrysalis, and when they come out, they're a butterfly. God has made everything in this world to change. We can very easily change, and in fact, people and all parts of creation are always changing but God never changes our truth this week that we are learning is that God is unchangeable I mean really is there ever a time God was not compassionate is there ever a time that God was not good is there ever a time God was not truth or merciful or the rock is there ever a time God was not our good shepherd or our shield? So I have something for each of you. I have it right here. Here it is. I'm going to give you each a special heart. Here it is, just like that. Do you like it? I guess it's not really the greatest gift. It's a little wrinkled. I think it's got a tear in it. I had it in my pocket. Well, how about I give you a new heart? I will trade you that old crumpled up heart for a brand new clean heart. Would that be better? All you have to do is give me your heart and I'll swap it for a better one. How's that? So that might have seemed a little bit strange, but did you know that's what God does for our lives? He is in the heart changing business and it's not about a heart made out of paper. It's not about your actual heart or like a heart transplant. A changed heart is about your attitude, your motivation on the inside. It's about how you think and how you feel. And when you know Jesus and you know what he's done for you, it really changes things for the better. So in today's story, we're going to talk about a man named Zacchaeus. Do you guys know anything about him? Do you remember anything about Zacchaeus? Well, we might remember that he's a really short guy and he had to climb up a tree just to see Jesus in a crowd. That's true, but it's not the most important part of the story. You see, People knew Zacchaeus, not only because he was short, but also because he was sort of a bad guy. 
he was called a tax collector, which basically meant that he would steal from people and they couldn't ever do anything about it. And when people get their money taken away, it usually doesn't make them too happy. So Zacchaeus didn't really have any friends and he may have been a bit greedy, but he heard about Jesus and he wanted to see what all the fuss was about. So he climbed up in a tree so he could see Jesus above the crowd and Jesus could spy Zacchaeus up in the tree and Jesus knew Zacchaeus's heart and he knew his intentions. He knew what kind of person Zacchaeus is and he called out to Zacchaeus by name and then he invited himself to dinner. So here's what it says in the Bible. This is from the book of Luke chapter 19 and we're going to read the first couple of verses. He, Jesus, entered Jericho and was passing through and behold, there was a man named Zacchaeus. He was a chief tax collector and was rich and he was seeking to see who Jesus was. But on account of the crowd, he could not because he was small in stature. So he ran on ahead and climbed up into a sycamore tree to see him, for Jesus was about to pass that way. And when Jesus came to the place, he looked up and said to him, Zacchaeus, hurry and come down, for I must stay at your house today. So he hurried and came down and received him joyfully. Some of the Jewish people thought Jesus should not be hanging out with someone like Zacchaeus. And they criticized him for it. And when they saw it, they all grumbled. He has gone in to be the guest of a man who is a sinner. Do you think Jesus was upset by that? Not at all. Jesus wanted to hang out with sinners, which is good news for us because we have all sinned. He also knew that Zacchaeus could change. And in fact, he did. After meeting Jesus, his life couldn't go back to the way it was before. He promised that if he had cheated someone, he would pay them back with extra money included. Wow. And Zacchaeus stood and said to the Lord, Behold, Lord, the half of my goods I give to the poor. And if I have defrauded anyone of anything, I restore it fourfold. And Jesus said to him, Today... Salvation has come to this house, since he also is a son of Abraham. For the Son of Man came to seek and to save the lost. So Zacchaeus turned his act around, and I'll bet he had more friends as a result. He had at least one very good friend, and that's Jesus. So there's, there's two things that this story reminds us of about our truth for this week. And the first thing is that people change, not God. And the second thing is that the gospel never changes. So who, who changed in this story, Zacchaeus or Jesus? You're right, Zacchaeus changed. And how was Zacchaeus able to change? Did he change on his own or did Jesus change him? You, you know, the changes that we see in Zacchaeus' life is change that's only possible when God works in our hearts. Zacchaeus went from a man who loved money more than anything to a man who loved God more than anything when he met Jesus. God is unchangeable. That means God cannot be moved. God does not change. And that's good for us because we can change. So for our craft this week, we're going to make a changed heart art. So before Zacchaeus met Jesus, his heart was empty and dark. And after he decided to follow Jesus, his heart was changed. It was filled with light and love. So we're going to create our own changed hearts today. So first, you need a piece of black paper and a dark colored crayon. I'm using a black crayon and I've already drawn a heart on my paper. So go ahead and do that on yours. And then what I want you to do 
is divide your heart into sections. You can make stripes, wavy lines, checkers, zigzag lines, or any kind of line you want. But you need to go from one edge of the heart to the other, top to the bottom, side to side. So here we have our dark lines in our heart. So this is just like how Zacchaeus' heart was, okay? And these lines that you've drawn in your heart are made out of wax from the crayon. And if we add more color to our hearts using a different type of medium, then these wax lines can resist or stop the added colors from spreading. So we're gonna use colored pencils, brighter colors, you pick out whatever colors you might like. Your hearts are beautiful. They are filled with amazing colors and what a wonderful and amazing change. Just like Zacchaeus, our hearts can be changed when we trust in Jesus as our Savior. But always remember that God is unchangeable. Let's pray. Dear God, we pray that each of us would come closer to knowing you each week. Thank you for all the wonderful ways you have created us. Thank you that we can change. And we are so grateful to have you, God, a God who doesn't change. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. I will see you guys next week. We are going to learn one more truth about what God is like.